What's up? This is Patrick at Radicards.com, and I would like to talk to you today about box breaks, buying into box breaks. Is buying into a box break a form of gambling? This is the question, right? Because you know going in, there, there, there are no guarantees coming out. The experience of buying into a box break and enjoying opening product or at least watching someone open your product for you and then sending your team to you if the team breakdown is in fact what the line is specifically, that is your return. The excitement of watching someone open is the guaranteed return. Now, the contents that you receive obviously is the gamble, right? You don't know what you're going to get. Granted, if you're buying into a team, you know that if a team card, if a card from a player of that team is pulled, that goes to you. Fine. But you've also accepted that when you buy in to a product break, you know going in you've to that you're going to assume and accept that level of uh, of risk. You're going to absorb whatever risk is associated with buying into that product, and the guarantee. The guarantee is that you're going to spend money. Not, I'm sorry, I said spend and not lose. And the reason why I didn't say lose is because if you get something that's a big hit and you sell it, you could have a higher return. And that is not a guarantee. All right, the loss isn't a guarantee just like the win isn't a guarantee. When you buy into a product, the guarantee is the experience of either watching somebody or watching yourself open the product. So it's more experiential in that way. The investment is in the experience as the guarantee. The risk, which is inherent to opening boxes in any any product, is associated with knowing that you may come out empty-handed. You may come out empty-handed. Then again, you might not. You might, in fact, find yourself the winner or the the guy who's going to receive some one-of-one bat barrel card, some really fancy card autographed by some mega Hall of Famer. Pretty amazing, right? Does that happen every time? Absolutely not. You know this. But you knew this going in that this may or may not be the case. You You might walk away with something that high end. Or just a bunch of base cards, a bunch of guys you never really heard of, but they're on the team that you like, so you bought into that team. Also kind of a whatever situation. Or you might walk away with nothing. You know? So, going back to the question, is buying into box breaks a form of gambling? I was talking to Chris Gilmore, co-founder of FreedomCardboard.com, and he brought this question up. He feels that, well, we, we discussed it at, at, at some degree of length. Box breaks, or buying into box breaks anyway, are, it's not a form of gambling as much as it's in a form of buying with an acceptable form of risk. And in some ways, that those, those, are, those can be synonymous in a way because when you do that at the casino, you know the risk going in. Right, but you might get something out of it. You're more in a in a position to get something, whether it be good or bad. You might you're in a posi- better position to get something. Now, a lot of box breakers they don't do anything with the base cards. Right, they might just it's all the 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 buy buy ins are for say the hits, the refractors, and whatever else. So. I've never bought into a box break, at least not at the time of this recording. Uh, so, but I've watched a lot of them. It's my understanding the breakers like donate or keep or give away or something all the base cards. Now, I don't know if it's an arrangement where you can ask for, hey, I bought into the A's. No matter what I get, can I get all the cards of the A's, including the base cards? Now, if that's the case, you're in a better situation to get something out of the product. Especially when it's one of those mid-tier products like Topps Chrome or Donner's Elite, Bowman Chrome even. But if you're doing like the top tier stuff like Tier 1, Exquisite, Immaculate, Flawless, it might be harder to get a card from a player 
on a team that you bought into because the 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 product output is so minimal. So risk is inherent with buying into a box break. Is that a bad thing? No, it's just an, there's something you have to accept going in. It's like uh, buying a pack of cards. You just know that you're going to own whatever you get, whether it be good or bad. So next time you buy into a box, if you haven't yet, just consider this as like a good exercise in accepting loss and failure. And that's okay because you didn't buy the loss. You bought the experience of seeing what could possibly be a success, a win, right? And that's exciting. That's fun. So you buy the experience. What is a result of the experience? Well, that's, that's up for grabs. That's what happens. That's what you watch and see. So I'll leave you with that. This is Patrick of Radicards.com. And until next time, enjoy collecting. If you like this content, please subscribe. Thank you. Enjoy collecting.